So I thought it would be helpful if I gave you guys a guide on the pieces that I think are most worth it from each section. So we're gonna go through tops, bottoms, and dresses. So the first dress is the Alida dress and every single person that I have seen in this dress looks absolutely stunning. When I first saw it, I was gonna pick it up. It is a beautiful shape, but it is a shape that I sometimes struggle with because of my height, this kind of very full A-line shape. However, around the time that this dress came out, they announced that they were doing uh, longer lengths, which, hello? absolutely for me and i was so happy to hear it so this is a dress that i am absolutely going to pick up i just haven't found the right occasion yet but as soon as i find a fitting occasion for this dress i'm buying it it does also come in different cup sizes which usually with house of cb i'm okay with a regular cup size but i think that this dress is cut in such a classic style I don't think that this is a dress that will look out of place if you were to put it out of your wardrobe in five years just because of the shape of it. It does come in a few different colours. I've got my eye on the black. I've seen it paired with, with maybe a bit of a sharer tight or an open toe shoe, a closed toe shoe, hair up, hair down, every single way that I have seen this dress styled looks absolutely stunning. I'm just waiting for, for spring, summer so that I can be outside. And as soon as I find an occasion for this dress, I'm picking it up. To dinner, date night, yeah, definitely, definitely a bit of me and I would recommend it. I haven't seen one person look bad in this dress. The next dress on my list is the Clementine. I've actually tried this dress on, but I tried it on in a green and I believe I picked it up in a large. I will put a link to the video, the initial video where I reviewed this dress. I believe I picked it up in a large and it was just a bit too big at the bust. But if you can get the fit right on this dress, it is so pretty. It is actually more pretty than it looks in the pictures. Not that it doesn't look good in the pictures. It looks very nice in the pictures, which is why I ordered it, but it exceeded my expectations. It's also quite comfortable, which I wasn't expecting. It does look a bit like a dress you'd wear and have to constantly be thinking about you know how you're standing or how you're sitting but I definitely did not have that experience when I tried this dress on it was very generous and it was very comfortable I am a bit between sizes at, at House of CB between a, a medium and a large if you are like me and between sizes then I would just recommend going for your lower size with this I can't say that I've seen this dress around often, maybe initially when it first come, came out, but they do offer it in a wide range of colours. That must have something to do with its popularity, I'd only assume. It's also a dress that I don't think is super trendy. Um, I think it's a dress that you could probably wear for the next few years and not feel, you know, as though you're wearing something dated. It does also come in a longer length, but I do enjoy this length the most. Of all the dresses I've tried, this is definitely a dress that I think would suit most body shapes. And I just think it's really cute. I think it's cute. I think it's quite versatile. You can pick up any colour you want and you feel comfortable in it, definitely on my list of one of the better options of dresses. So next we have the Juniper, and this dress was part of their holiday collection, and my expectations weren't low for the holiday collection, but some of the dresses, especially because I had not long ago given given birth to twins, so I don't know, My my I was ready to be disappointed if I'm honest, but I thought I would try it out because you know, although I had just given birth, I still wanted to feel, you know, cute. I still wanted to find a few things that I could feel cute in. This dress is so nice, guys. If you are looking for maybe a dress for a black tie event, maybe if you're someone who wears black to weddings, I don't, but if you are someone who wears black to weddings, this is such a nice option. It is a bit modest because it doesn't show any of your bust. It is just open at the shoulders. It is a bit body conscious, but it is not made of like a super stretchy material. It definitely is a material that has structure to it. And this kind of uh, peplumy, bushy detail at the bottom is just so pretty. I don't think I have seen anyone outside of the promotions for this collection. I don't think I've seen anyone else in this dress. And I think everybody is kind of missing a trick with this one. It is just so nice for, for black tie, for dinner, for weddings, engagement. 
very 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 nice so the next dress that i would recommend is this amia dress this is another dress that i was considering picking up but because i wasn't sure about the length i didn't however it does come in extended length so definitely on my list of things to pick up i do have a few blazer dresses though which is what's kind of making me um and ah about it i do have a dress from club l london and a dress a very nice blazer dress from mango that the top of it actually comes off i don't think i've showed it to you guys but i am in love with that blazer dress too so because i haven't really had a chance to wear those much that is kind of what has put me off buying this one but this dress i've seen on a couple of people if i can find them i'll put them in to show you guys but looks lovely blazer dresses you definitely cannot go wrong with i think they are maybe a bit more popular now now a bit trendy but the mix of masculine and feminine is something that doesn't really go out of style you are always going to be able to put a pair of tights on with this and a heel and look very well put together and what i like about this blazer dress is that it seems to have some shape fitted within it almost like an hourglass shape fitted within it and it is so good it could bring a tear to my eye a blazer with shape cut into it is just always so nice so for tops first on my list is the melissant which is what i've got on it does come in a range of different colors i feel like every season or every other season they add this style of top in a different color it seems to be a house of cb staple i think that this top is absolutely so pretty so cute i have it in this blue and white colorway which i think is one of the first colorways that they had but it's definitely a top that i would pick pick in any color that i liked because i just love the fit of it i do have quite long arms but i don't have any issues with with the arms and it is in this kind of feminine oversized style which is actually really hard to get right i have tried out this kind of style of top from a few other places and house of cb definitely does it the best it has a bit of padding at the top here you can see it's got a bit of padding at the top which helps with the shoulders and i love an exaggerated shoulder so i really love that detail i've had this top for a while now and the sleeves haven't deflated or you know become sad looking or anything like that i do have mine in a medium and there isn't stretching it it is a bit of a cropped corset style i think if you are busty or you're between sizes then i would recommend going your bigger size i think the area that probably requires the most consideration is your stomach if you are a bit flatter at your stomach then probably sticking to your size will be fine but if you are maybe more rounded at your stomach then i think it would be worth try at least trying the size up but this top i probably it's definitely near a 10 9 out of 10 9 9.8 out of 10 for me there is not anything that i can think of at the moment that i find wrong with this top it's definitely a top that you can wear smart casually to brunch to dinner you know kind of gives rich auntie so i love that for me and i would definitely recommend it the next top that i would recommend is the ayla and i think that this top is so slept on i have i have it you guys will see it in my banner i definitely think it's a top that's quite overlooked but guys don't walk run go and pick up this top i went on the, to the website a few days ago and it seems as though it's not a top that they are continuing to produce so if you are looking for a corset style top that is very feminine well made a nice color then this this top needs to be on your list. The last I checked, they only had size medium and lower available. But if you can get your hands on it, then I definitely would recommend it. It is almost romantic, this top. When I tried it on, I am certain I heard soft violins playing in the background. Such a beautiful top perfect for day it's a very nice color you can pair it with a light jean a, a dark jean the sleeves you can wear them up or you can wear them off the shoulder absolutely beautiful it actually might be my favorite top from them ever if you are looking for a corset style dressy top please please get this one next is the aubrey and this top is from one of their more recent collections i haven't picked this top up yet because again it is a very occasiony for me in my opinion 
I definitely need somewhere to go in this corset, but it is almost giving like Victorian, Victorian madam. And I love that. <laughs> I just need somewhere to go in it and I will pick this up. I think I saw Lydia Ding Dinger with this top on, I think. But outside of that, I haven't seen anyone else wearing it, but I think it is, it's almost, it's almost like a, fem uh, a celebration of femininity. I don't know, that's what I'm getting from the top. It's definitely a showstopper. I haven't had a chance to see this in person, but I can only imagine that the quality on it is gonna be very, very, very nice. So the next top on my list is the Isabel. What I like about this top is that of all of the corset style tops that I have, this top has the most give. It doesn't look like it entirely, but it is actually one of the more relaxed tops that I have picked up from them. So if you are looking for maybe more of a corset inspired top, or a, a, a top that has a corset look without the corset I can't breathe, then this is definitely a good option. I get compliments on it all of the time. I will say though, I think because the sleeves are covered, it can feel a lot like there is, this is quite exposed. Of course, it's no more exposed than it than it is in a top like this, but wearing it, I did feel a bit like my whole my my whole chest was out so if you are somebody who maybe likes to be a bit modest up up in this area then this is probably not my suggested option but if you are somebody who maybe wants to highlight this area then it is almost like a window into your chest <laughs> it feels a bit like that but i get compliments on this top all of the time if i want to wear all black if i'm unsure about what to wear maybe i'm going to the bar going going to dinner with friends and I'm, I, I haven't got many options or uh, my mind's frazzled and I can't make a choice, then this is a choice that I know is gonna look nice and is pretty much gonna go with any bottom that I pair with it. The next top on my list is the Emiliana. I think that this is a good option if you are looking for quite a versatile corset top, a top you can dress up and up or down. It is a top that I find I can pair with pretty much any bottom and put on maybe a blazer or a coat over the top of it. I feel as though I look quite elevated, quite feminine in this top. This top is probably one of the most, one of the least forgiving tops, I would I would say in terms of size. If you are unsure about your size, go for a bigger size. It does come with a bit of material under the bust bit of the top, which I think is a really nice detail. It is something that you can move and adjust. It is a bit more subtle, a bit more plain, but definitely a top that I enjoy. It, there is also not much stretch in the straps, so it is a top that you have to, you have to really get your size right, I think. But once you do, it is a really easy top to wear. It's a top that I reach for often, um, and I find that I can kind of get my money's worth out of it in terms of styling it with different things. So next on my list is trousers. And the only pair of trousers that I've picked up, I still have and I love, is called the Georgette. These pair of trousers come in a couple different colours. I will put in the caveat that I am quite tall. I have like a 36 inch, inch inseam, so a lot of the bottoms aren't really styles that I can consider. But these fit very well, even though my legs are super long. I love the fit of them. They are very comfortable. I've picked them up in a size medium. I think you can stick with your size or even go a size down. They are very, very generous. I love the quality of them. I mean, I can't rave enough about them. I've got them in the brown. I want to pick them up in the black too. And maybe the white as well. But definitely the brown and the black are on the list of must-haves in terms of their trousers. Do let me know if you've picked up anything from House of CB before. How do you feel about it? Do you love it? What styles are your favourite? Let me know down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.